it's Shelby from the Yoga Shala, and I am here in College Park, Orlando, Florida, teaching every mid-morning session of 8.30 to 11 a.m., so you can always come see me and practice with me. I would love to work with you. Uh, I also teach Tuesday evenings from 5 to 7. Today, I'm talking about getting into Downward Facing Dog, which you will find throughout the entire yoga practice whether it's Ashtanga or any kind of vinyasa flow. And I'm talking about it because so many of us don't really properly get into it, and I really want to make you feel good in this pose. I know that in the, in the long run, if people keep doing it the wrong way, they're going to have problems, they're going to have injuries, or they're going to have issues with their shoulders, or generally it's in the shoulders. Um, and that is something that none of us really want to deal with, so I really want to make sure people do it the right way so that they don't hurt themselves. Okay, so first we're going to talk about the positioning of Cammy's hands. So right now her hands are a little bit out. Ideally, what we want is we want her wrists to be parallel to the edge of the mat. So she's going to gently turn her hands facing inward. And the way you can figure this out is take the middle finger and make sure it's pointing straight towards the edge of your mat. Okay. The fingers are slightly spread, okay, not like crazy and not like all together. And then she's also going to focus on pushing the hands down. So she's not going to be cupping her hands anymore. She's not you know, just hanging out here like this. She's going to really push the palms down. She's pushing them down and almost inward inward as if she's trying to squish the mat together. So the next thing we're talking about are Cammy's feet. Right now her feet are way too close together. Ideally her feet need to be about hip width distance apart. So Cammy, why don't you move your feet about hip width distance apart. And at the same time she can also walk her feet in a little bit. In the beginning when you're first practicing yoga, you want to work on grounding the feet as much as you can. So sometimes you'll have to walk your feet in closer to the hands so that the feet are coming closer to the mat. Now some people, their feet may be off the mat and that's fine. It just takes time to lengthen the calves. Uh, but Kami looks good right now and her feet are also going to be pushing downward and outward. Well, remember, her, feet, her hands are pushing downward and inward. And now we'll discuss the back positioning in Downward Facing Dog. So you can see, first of all, Cammy seems to be leaning into her shoulders. So number one, she's going to push the hips back. Back. Good. You see? So now she's not dumping all of that weight into the shoulders. And so often, people are dumping so much weight into the shoulders that they're going to have shoulder issues. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take out this little arch in her lower back. She's going to bring this part of her back up towards my fingers. Up, 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 good, good, perfect, perfect. And then, right here are the lats. And these are huge muscles on your back. And so why, because they're so huge, why not make them do all the work? rather than all the little muscles in your shoulder, in your rotator cuff. So Cammy is going to engage the muscles, okay? And part of the reason that we have the hands pushing down and inward is that it helps to engage all of this and takes the pressure off the shoulders. And so now, Cammy's downward dog looks very good. Okay, so to recap, first we fix the hands in the down dog so the hands are pointing forward, Big finger, the middle fingers are pointing forward. And then second, we adjust the feet to make sure that she's standing hip width distance apart and at the right distance from her hands. Right now she looks good. So then next we adjust the back. So instead of her reaching or leaning into her shoulders, she's going to push her hips back. Good. And then she's going to engage the lats, the latissimus dorsi, which are right here. She's engaging those. Last thing that we have to correct is the head. So her gaze is going to be towards the navel. The eyes are really stretching towards the navel. The head is coming down. It's a full extension of the spine. You can see how nice
nice and straight her spine is. And here you go. Voila, you've got a gorgeous downward facing dog. Thank you, Kenny. Thank you so much for joining us today. And if you like this video, you can hit the little like button and also you can share it with your friends. Also, be sure to hit the little bell so that you get notified when we get when we release new videos. And definitely subscribe to our YouTube channel. Additionally, you can also sign up for our newsletter, which you can find the link in our bio. And in the newsletter, you will find all sorts of goodies, more yoga tips, some recipes, just news about our events that we've got going on, really good stuff. Is in practice if they're new, sometimes they're like, oh, I can't do it. Like they get, like they get tired in it. Or, yeah, and, I'm, and you're not supposed to get tired in it. Ideally, it's more like a rest pose. Even though you're still active, it's really like a rest pose. Um, and people shouldn't hate it. <laughs> it's not something that you dread. Okay. And I've seen, I've heard, and I've seen, yeah, in my experience.